Ever since Stanley came to be a part of the Farquhar fleet, Percy had fewer jobs to do on the branch line. But he often does the mail run at night. However, it was not much as it used to, as the mail depot were mostly delivering the letters and parcels by road. He often shunts around the various yards along the branch line, but sometimes, he grew tired of it instantly. Stanley was supposed to help me with the goods work, not to take it away from me, he said crossly one night in the shed. Toby and Thomas can only just sympathize poor Percy. You could help around on the Kirk Roland line. The fat controller may need another engine to help shunting around the harbour area, and I knew that you were a good shunt to pass it. The fat controller had appointed Jeeves and Emily to look after the passengers and goods, said Donald. Oh no, I'm needed here on the Farquhar branch line, but thanks for the offer, Donald. Oh, that's alright, said Donald, and he puffed away with some materials to the Kirk Ronan restoration site. The next day, Percy was lucky enough to have a job to do. Pushing empty coal trucks under the hopper and placing them into a siding ready for the delivery to Kirk Ronan. Percy has had enough by the time the job was finished. Then he had an idea. Driver, I just got a message from the station master. We must deliver these trucks of coal right away to Kirk Ronan. So they did. But Percy left the yard without the guard knowing until too late. Hey, stop, she yelled. But Percy had already popped the way along the main line. When he reached the crest of Gordon's Hill, the train starts to roll down the hill faster and faster. Percy was surprised. What the? God, break! You left her behind! You left her behind! Giggled the trucks. Percy tried to control the trucks, but they were too heavy, and his driver eventually lost control. Percy was a runaway! Help! Help! was all the little green engine could scream.
He had reached Kurt Ronan and was turned towards the harbour. Percy's driver tried again. Until he had stopped. Percy sighed. Thank you, driver. Percy was relieved that the runaway was over. But the fat controller was not best pleased as he arrived aboard Douglas. Percy! What were you doing? Taking trucks without permission and was almost a runaway. I thought the better of you. Go to your shed immediately and he can stay there for the rest of the day. So that is what he did. He arrived later in the day to see Percy. I'm sorry for causing trouble, sir. It's just that with little work here now that Stanley's doing most of the goods work, it's becoming quite dull being left in the yards. Well, I can see that. Hmm. I'll send you to the restoration site. Maybe that will keep you busy there this shed every year. The next day, Percy shunted all the flatbeds and trucks of building material and ballast into place. The workmen were very pleased, and so were the other engines. At last, the line was completed. Percy was tired, but the foreman was very pleased. You're a splendid shutter, Percy. I will give my compliment to the Fat Controller. When the Fat Controller heard the news, he was pleased with the saddle tank engine as well. Excellent work, Percy. Now, I shall reward you to look after the trucks at the harbour area on the Kirk Road and Branch Line. Percy was pleased. I think it's time for the change. And besides, Stanley is doing something good for the branch line, he said. When he told the other engines the next day, Thomas felt sad. Is anything the matter, Thomas? asked Percy. Um, no. No, not really, Percy. Later that morning, Thomas was at the station ready for his first train. He was late, and the passengers weren't happy. Uh, we apologise for the delay, passengers. Thomas is having some issues with his steam pressure. So Percy shunted Thomas into the shed, and Toby took Annie and Clarabel along with Henrietta and Victoria. There you are, Thomas, beat Percy happily. Must go now. The trucks are Kirk rolled and need to be transferred home. As he puffed towards the hill, he was worried about his friend. Maybe my new position had caused his delay. Should I stay here? He thought. Hello, Thomas. Thomas was surprised to see a van next to him. Who, who are you? Ah, I'm Elise. I'm Toby's luggage van. I'm a bit quiet on his journeys. Anyway, I believe you're sad about Percy's new position at Kirk Ronan. How do you know? I overheard a conversation this morning. I know Percy's a close friend of yours, Thomas, but do you want him to be happy? Yes, I do, but... <sighs> of course I do. That evening, Percy returned to the shed. He was glad that Thomas was there. M maybe I shouldn't take up that job at Kirk Rona, right, Thomas? No, Percy. You should. You shouldn't hold yourself back. This job is a new opportunity for you. It would be rather selfish of me to say that you shouldn't take the job, said Thomas. Percy knew that Thomas was right, and so a few days later, the line to Kirk Ronan was officially opened. Percy was the shunter, of course, and the goods engine alongside James and Emily, who look after the passengers. Percy often misses his friends on the Farquhar branch line, but at times, the fat controller lets him visit his friends. Even though our friends depart to seek new places, they always return at times to the old places too.